Hi, everybody. Welcome to Healing in the Kingdom's Prayer and Prophecy Call. Um, today, first, I want to make an announcement. I want to let everybody know that we're accepting applications for SWIFT. Um, and Dr. Darlene made a post about that. Um, so look for that post in Healing in the Kingdom. And the link should be below the post. And if you feel the Holy Spirit, Holy, sorry, Spirit nudging you to uh, apply to the Swift Prayer Team, by all means, click on that link and apply. But anyways, um, I'm going to hand it over to Marie Pearl. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We're glad to have you here today. We've got a few prayer requests in Healing in the Kingdom and also the Facebook comments. Um, the first one we have is a lady who's seeking physical healing. This lady is now in ICU with a medical team running tests to figure out the seizures and her inability to talk. We're praying for her healing and that she would rest and Father God, and be relieved of all fears. <clears throat> I'll take that one. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for your daughter's life. We thank you that you formed her, you created her in your image. We thank you that you have touched her body and your healing virtue is flowing through her right now, even as we pray. Your word says that even as we pray, you go well ahead of us to answer. So we thank you that you have answered our call. We thank you, Lord, that these seizures will cease in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God, that you will enable her and empower her to talk again. Because you are able and you are willing, Father, to do that. We give you praise for her healing. And we thank you that she's resting in you, knowing that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that she can ever think or ask. According to, <clears throat> sorry, your Holy Spirit that works in her, your power that works in her, your dunamis power that works in her. And we thank you that your word says that you did not give her a spirit of fear, but you gave her one of love, power, and a sound mind. So we call that for her now and release it to her right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <clears throat> the next one is a gentleman who's seeking physical healing and spiritual healing. Um, it's a close friend of one of our own in Healing in the Kingdom. And this gentleman has been diagnosed with stage four cancer that has traveled from his colon to his liver and lungs. So I'll kindly ask Leslie to pray for this gentleman, please. Thank you, Marie Pearl. Heavenly Father, I just lift up this gentleman. I'm asking you in your name to bring complete healing to him. Lord, you're the miracle maker. You are the miracle worker. You can do all things. And by Jesus' stripes, he was healed. I'm asking you for the manifestation of that healing in his life, Lord. And I'm asking you to, if he does not know you, that, that you would reveal yourself to him, Lord. Um, give him comfort, healing, um, comfort his family. And um, I'm just asking um, that you... That you can meet all needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, Lord. And I just thank you for who you are. I thank you for what you're going to do in his life. And um, we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Leslie. Mm -hmm. can I the next prayer request is a gentleman who's seeking physical healing and mental healing. This gentleman has depression because 
he was overstressing at work and this resulted in a stroke, him having a stroke. He said he's half paralyzed now and wondering how he can get back to fitness and work. Susan, can you kindly pray for this gentleman? Yeah, I just want to say something <clears throat> over this man. I prayed for him before several times and I know him. Um, as I was reading this request, um, it came to me to tell him to read the Psalms where David, he talks about declaring to your soul, you know, your mind, your will and emotions. Um, I did that this morning without even thinking about it. As I was walking up my stairs, I declared to my soul that it's healed and whole in Jesus name. Um, so I just want to encourage you to do that. But Heavenly Father, I um, I lift up this man to you, Lord, and I just pray for healing of his, uh, his mind, his soul, his spirit, Lord, his heart. Healing from depression, heaviness, Lord. Um. And I ask, Lord, that you help him to partner with you, Lord. And, you know, he's asking the desires of his heart is to get back to fitness and work. Help him, Lord, to rest in you in this current uh, season or situation he's in, Lord, where he's not able to walk. Um, I believe he's in a wheelchair. But I know, Lord, that you heal. And like Leslie said, you are a miracle worker. And I've seen it over and over and over again. Lord, I just pray for his healing in his body from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, that he be able to get up and walk. He be able to do the things, the desires of his heart, Lord, that you put in there. You give us the desires of our heart, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you show him what he needs to partner with you in. Um to walk that out, Lord. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. The next one is a lady seeking physical healing. This lady has um, would like healing from a brain injury that she had eight and a half years ago. Derealization. Hashimoto's thyroid Detis, tyroiditis, I think it is, blurred vision, macula hole in eye, and hormonal imbalance. I'll ask Leslie B to pray for her, please. Leslie? Heavenly Father, I just lift up this lady, Lord. You, you created our bodies to heal lord and and you can go around in the, in the brain and and create new pathways i'm asking you to bring healing uh to her the manifestation of that healing lord and and heal her eyes and just heal everything um that seems to be out of alignment with you um and i just um Thank you, Lord, for who you are. You you can heal her instantly. You can heal her over a period of time. You work all things together for good, Lord. And we're just asking you for the manifestation of that healing. Uh, thank you, Lord, for who you are. In Jesus' name, we pray. And I plead the blood of Jesus over her, Lord. I Amen. plead this over her. And let her feel your presence, your peace that passes all understanding, and let her know that you are active in her life, and just let her feel a, a big hug from you, Heavenly Father, even right this moment. Let her feel your presence 
In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Leslie. <clears throat> the next one is another lady, and she's seeking physical healing. She says she's not functioning and is really struggling. I'm not quite sure <clears throat> in what area <clears throat> she's not functioning or really struggling, but the Lord knows because he knows all. I'll pray for this lady. Heavenly Father, I lift up your daughter into your hands. We thank you for her life. We thank you for her beautiful life. We thank you for her destiny. We thank you that you have promised her a fulfilled destiny. We thank you that the plans that you have for her are not of evil, but of good for an expected end and a future. So we give you praise for what is and what is to come. We ask, O oh Lord, for great faith for this lady. Great faith to know that you are able and you're willing. And all your promises are yea and amen. We ask that your daughter will no longer struggle in the mighty name of Jesus in any shape or form. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you praise, O oh Lord, that you are doing a new thing in her life. We thank you that the former things that she struggled with, she will, <clears throat> she will see no more because you're doing a new thing in her life. We ask that you open her eyes to perceive what you're doing, open her ears to hear you audibly when you speak to her. And give her that faith to take bold steps to walk into the newness of life and see all that you have for her. Prosperity all around in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The next one is for a lady who is requesting physical and mental healing. This lady said <clears throat> she would love to be free of the system and still be able to eat. She would also love to be married and share the journey of faith with her husband. She's been actively standing on romance that says that she's getting, but she says that she's getting weary from a lifetime of difficult circumstances. I'll ask Leslie Ray to kindly pray for this lady. The first part of that, Marie Pearl? She would love to be free of the system. What does the system mean? Do you mean? I don't know what a system is. I don't know whether it's the welfare system. I don't, I don't know. Oh, perhaps. Okay. She, was, she has system and still be able to eat. Ah, I see what you mean. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what the system is. Mm -hmm. That's what comes to mind. Well, I I just want to encourage you, my sister in the Lord, that um, you know, just like the Lord feeds the little birds of the air, he tells us in Matthew, um, and clothes them, he will. However form, whatever form that might take, whether it is the system or whether it's not, you will be fed, you will be clothed because that is his word for you, that he provides everything that you need according to his riches and glory. And you are his daughter and, um, and from his hand comes your provision. Also from his hand comes love and understanding and he is the God that never leaves you or abandons you you know and I understand seeking after um, having relationships with and having a husband um, just remember that the Lord Jesus is your first 
husband. He is always with you. He always loves you. He's right next to you. As you look towards these beautiful things, you know, in your future that, um, uh, that you desire, you know, just keep that in mind that Jesus is right next to you all the time, always. And he loves you. He tells us he's at our right hand. That's how close he is. So, dear Heavenly Father, I just pray for my sister, Lord. I just lift her up to you, Lord. I pray for your peace, your shalom peace to just surround her. Your peace that passes all understanding, you tell us, Lord. And I thank you, Father, that you never leave us. You never abandon us. You know our every need. You know our every thought. And you want us to tell you all about all the aspects of our lives, Lord. And Lord, I lift up my sister. I pray, Lord, for all her heart's desires, that you would give her all her heart's desires, Lord. You tell us, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not unto our own understanding. In all your ways, we acknowledge you, Lord. And she acknowledges you in her life, Lord. And you are directing her path, Lord, every step of the way. I pray for healing. I pray for healing in her, in her, um, in her soul, in her mind and emotions, Lord. And I pray for your hand to guide her in all of that as she draws close to you, Lord, that your healing balm, your healing oil would just pour over her, Lord, from um, head to toe, Father. And that um, as she imagines what her life can be like in the future, that it would just be, Father, and you would open her eyes, her spiritual eyes and her physical eyes, and she would just see those paths that you have her on, that you want her to take, Lord God, and that she is walking with you. We thank you, Father, for your presence in our lives constantly and that you care about every little thing. Thank you, Father. And we thank you for the guidance that you are giving her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Leslie. The next one is for a prayer request for a gentleman who is a financial advisor, entrepreneur, who's having serious financial troubles at the moment. Um, the lady is asking for prayer for him to have a closer relationship with the Lord, to get wisdom and for lo the Lord to clear out the trauma and lies in his mind. Susan, would you kindly pray for this gentleman, please? Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, y'all. Dear Heavenly Father, I lift this man up to you, Lord. And I ask, Lord, that you um, show him how to steward his money. I ask, Lord, that you um, draw him into a closer relationship with you, Lord. Give him wisdom around all the things he needs wisdom with, Lord. And Lord, I just... Uh, Command all trauma to go now in Jesus' name out of all the organs, wherever, you know, the trauma has been trapped. I just command it to go now in Jesus' name. And I pray healing over his mind and heart of any uh, trauma. And I just pray, Lord, that, um, you know, you're Jehovah Jireh, you provide for all our needs. And like Leslie said, like the birds of the air, they don't have to worry about anything. So why should we, you know, we don't have to worry about what we're going to eat or anything. You take care of all our needs, Lord, and you always go above and beyond what we could ever imagine or ask for. I just thank you, Lord, that um, you hear our prayers. I thank you, Lord, that you answer our prayers. And you give us the desires of our heart, Lord. And I just thank you, Lord, for this man, for his life. And I thank you, Lord, that you're answering this prayer. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Susan. Marie Pearl, could I read that passage of scripture? I just think that that is important to read that. Um, Absolutely. That yes. bit. Um, I'm just trying to find it really quick. I know it's in Matthew. Do any of you know exactly where that is about the birds of the air? Matthew. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, continue on, Marie Pearl, and then I'll find it. And when I find it, I'm going to read it, okay, out loud. Thank you, Leslie. It's Matthew 6, uh, verse 26. Matthew 6, okay, great. 26. Okay, Matthew 6, 26. Okay. Uh, and it's all about care and anxiety, you know, and we can be very, uh, get very anxious when we're, when we need healing or we just need things. And that's what this is all about. How God supplies all of our needs. Therefore, I say to you, and this is Jesus speaking. Therefore, I say to you, take no thought about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they do not sow nor do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more than they? Who among, who among you, by taking thought, in other words, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? Why take thought about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither work, nor do they spin. Yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not dressed like one of these. Therefore, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is here and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? O oh, you of little faith. Therefore, take no thought saying, what am I going to eat? And what are we going to drink? And what shall we wear? Where shall we live? We could go on and on with that. <laughs> How am I going to pay the bills? Um, for your heavenly father knows that you have need of all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God. This is the key, right? But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And we find our righteousness in Jesus Christ. And all these things shall be given unto you. That is from the mouth of God. <laughs> All these things will be given to you. Therefore, take no thought. Don't worry, right? About tomorrow. For tomorrow will take thought about the things of itself. Sufficient to the day is the trouble thereof. So we just declare that word over all of you that are asking Amen. for prayer and ourselves, because I think that we need that, <laughs> that Amen. the Lord God provides daily in abundance, just like the manna from heaven fell and it only lasted one day. That was a lesson, right? Daily in abundance. And that's another a scripture that I just want to share because I, I know. Hey, Leslie, can you wait? I'm not trying to interrupt you. We got like 15 more prayer requests to do. Okay, but I'm just going to give you that one more, one more scripture and then, then I'll, I'll be done. Okay. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits, even the God who is our salvation. That's Psalm 68, 19. So. He daily loads us with benefits. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Leslie. Okay. You're that welcome. was powerful. Thank you. The next prayer request is from a lady. And this lady is seeking heart healing. She says she started a book and feels that the Lord wants her to pick it up again. And she's praying for strategy and direction from the Lord. Leslie B, can you kindly pray for this lady, please? Heavenly Father, I just lift this lady up and I'm asking you to give her 
your thoughts on everything that she is seeking. Uh, if she's to write this book, that you would just give her downloads of what she should be writing about. I just see that if she puts her hand to the page, that that the words will come. And um, Father, I just, um, I thank you that you give her the wisdom as she asked for it and that you would bring healing to her heart. Um, I thank you that everything that you allow in our lives, that you work it all together for good and um, that you would bring a complete heart healing, Lord. And if, if she needs um, some help from uh, maybe somebody who does heart healing for her to seek that, and um, I just thank you for, for your daughter and that you would bless her in all her ways. And I thank you for, you lead her each and every moment, each, each and every step of the way. And then sometimes we may not know what the next step is going to be until we're there. But as she takes each step, then you'll open up a new step. So, Lord, I just... Um, I'm asking you to empower her with an extra dose of that trust that you, that she abides in you, that you're going to show her the way and you go before her and behind her. And we just thank you for her in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> the next prayer request is a lady who's seeking physical healing. This lady said she's been diagnosed for breast cancer. And when she was diagnosed, she got surgery straight away and radiation went well. She started chemotherapy on the 31st of August. And she's needing prayer for no side effects and rest and trust on Jesus that her healing is already done. And that is great faith. To me, that is great faith. She has great faith that her healing is already done. So we'll come in agreement with her and we thank the Lord. I just want to thank the Lord for successful surgery. Thank the Lord that everything, all the treatment went well. We thank the Lord that he is holding her hands on this journey. He knows. He's the all-knowing God. He knows all that has happened and all that she's going through. But as his word says that she was already healed by his stripes, she will hold on to the hem of Jesus's garment and receive total healing and walk in divine health from this day forth. So we just want to thank the Lord that whatever is going on, there'll be no side effects. There'll be no pain, no complications, nothing at all. And that she will see a supernatural healing right before her. And she will be a testimony for all. We thank God for the creative miracle that has taken place now in her body, her physical body. We give you praise, O oh Lord. And we thank you for your finished work in her life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <clears throat> the next one is for a lady who's seeking physical healing. Um, this lady is having a lumpectomy for her breast cancer. Um, this lady's needing prayers for her surgical team and that it hasn't traveled, that the cancer hasn't traveled to her lymph nodes. I'll ask Leslie Ray to kindly pray for this lady. Dear Heavenly Father, we just lift, uh, we lift this lady up to you, Lord, and we pray for, again, your peace that passes all understanding, Lord. This lump is not too great for you, and it is uh, in your hands, Lord, and we just place it in your hands, Father. We place the those that are um, that are doing the surgery in your hands, Lord God, and we ask that you would just um, 
just give them your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your their skill, their skill, Lord, would just, um, they would just be on with all of this, God. And um, we pray that it wouldn't spread any further. And I pray, Father, that it would just be gone <laughs> in Jesus' Amen. name, that you would just melt that lump, Lord, mm-hmm. and that it, um, and she would just be completely cancer-free, Lord, and nothing, uh, nothing in her body, Father. We pray that um, her body would just come under your, uh, you know, it is under your authority, Father, and um, that you have caused this healing already to happen in her body, Father. And um, uh, in Romans 8, 11, it says, if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, um, won't he also give life to our mortal bodies? And so we just declare that over your body, that your body was, is, um, is meant to be healed and whole in Jesus' name. And that's what he went to the cross for us. And um, and uh, by his stripes, you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Leslie. Mm-hmm. The next prayer request is for another lady. This lady is seeking physical healing. And she says she's having <clears throat> pains in her stomach and some soreness i'd like to ask um susan to kindly pray for this lady okay dear heavenly father i lift up this lady to you and i command all pain to go now in jesus name from her stomach area and i just pray for healing of her stomach and healing of the soreness um and anything else that may be going on in there lord I just pray for healing from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. The next prayer request is for a lady who's seeking spiritual healing. This lady said she's having a hard time praying at the moment. She wants to abide in Jesus and wants to walk on greater intimacy and obedience. This lady says that her husband is in remission from multiple myeloma and is asking prayer for both of them, husband and wife, to live their lives in full. I'd like to ask Leslie B. to pray for them, please. Heavenly Father, I just lift up her husband and... uh, I'm asking you for complete healing there. And uh, and I lift them both up, Lord. If she has some kind of a, a heart wound, I'm asking you to heal that, Lord. Um, I'm asking you to help her to, to know that you are a father who loves her and accepts her just as she is. And that if she feels any hurt or any kind of anger, that she is safe to share that with you, Lord, even if it's anger towards you. Help her to know that she can be who she is in you and that she can come to you with anything. And then just help her to have compassion on herself, Lord, and just to to know that you love her with a love that is so great that she can be where she is and she can just trust that you have her, that you have her in the palm of your hand. You have them both, Lord. I'm asking you to heal any wounds. I'm asking you uh, to bring complete healing. And we thank you, Lord, that you work everything together for good and that anything you allow, there's a purpose for it. There's something we can learn from it. So I just thank you for her healing that you provided, Lord, and that by your stripes, they are healed in the, and to bring the manifestation of that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Leslie. The next prayer request is from a lady, and she says that she's seeking physical healing. This lady says that she has excruciating pain in her left 
trapezoids, her upper arm and in her right wrist and hand. And this is resulting in one hour or less of sleep every night for almost a month now. She also wants prayer for finances, um, which is currently urgent and has been ongoing for almost 30 years. I'll pray for this lady. Heavenly Father, I lift up your daughter into your hands. And I thank you, Father God, that you sent Jesus to bear all her pain, take all her pain. He said, he said that by his stripes, she was healed. So Lord, we thank you that you have taken this pain away from her body. Your word says in Psalm 4 verse 8, that in peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. We pray that this will, scripture will be imparted into her and that she will know your peace, your perfect peace, as she lays down to sleep each night. For your throws up, and that your favor would surround her like a shield, Lord God. Your favor and provision would just surround her like a shield. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the promises that you give us and that they are true and good and that you carry out your promises to us, Lord, and that we can claim, we can declare them over ourselves and that she can be, she can sleep, she can be healed and she can know that um, you will provide for all of her needs according to your riches and glory. We thank you for that, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, the next one, I've got the list in front of me. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Um, the next one is um, a lady that's asking for prayer. I'm going to be brief with this because it's very, very detailed. I don't think I should say some of it. <laughs> so I'm going to be brief with it. Um, she's wanting prayer for God has brought her through a lot of healing of evil rituals and abuse over the years. Um, and as she gets older, she's working on letting go of hating self and working to liking self. God is helping me through my art, which is amazing of him. And I cannot read the rest of it. It didn't print off. But God knows what it is. Um, do either one of y'all feel led to pray for that or do you want me to pray for it? I'll be happy to pray for her. Or, okay. or, less, or both of us. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you feel led to pray for her, Leslie B? Go ahead. No, no, I was I was gonna tell Susan to, that she could go ahead and pray, but go ahead, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we just praise you, God, because you are greater and you are higher and you are full of love, Lord. We cancel all curses, all Everything that has been put on this dear woman, hexes, um, uh, spells, abuse, Lord, we cancel that out in Jesus' name. The enemy has no has no reign over her life. You are in control of her, Lord. So we just cancel anything that has happened, and we pray for a renewal, Lord, in her mind um, and in her body, God, and that um, and that. You would just uh, just refresh and renew her, Lord. Greater is he, you, than he that is in the world, Lord. And we, we pray for your love to just abound and heal our sister, Lord, as she, um, she struggles with um, things from her past, Lord, that she would be able now to forget what is in the past and press on towards the future, Lord. And we pray for complete healing in her body, soul, mind, and spirit, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus, for the healing that you bring to us because um, your power is made perfect in our weakness, Lord. And you um, and um, you went to the cross for our healing as well. We thank you for that. I kind of forget the end part, Susan, that she, she uh, needed prayer for. 
Um, she was talking about uh, working on letting go of hating self and working to liking self. In I really words, think Leslie B should pray into that because it's all about her identity. You know, do you have any words for her, uh, Leslie B? Well, let me just um, pray that Heavenly Father, I'm asking you to help this woman to see the value that you have for her and that she is acceptable acceptable to you just the way she is because it's by what Jesus what you did on the cross that that makes her righteous help her to learn to love herself in you to to love herself the way you love her and as she does that lord as she and to, and that requires forgiveness and letting go and as she does that uh then she will be able to uh, to move forward. So I'm just asking for that healing for her to empower her to, to do that, to show her the way to do that, to help her to see the amazing person that you made her to be, help her to even look at her body, her hands, the way she can move them, just the, the amazingness of the creation of who she is and that you've given her special gifts that only she has, that she has to share with others. And that as she gets through this and as she, as she is healed, this she's going to be able to turn around and help other people who are struggling in this area. So it seems that you have a great ministry ahead of her, Lord to help set people free as she is healed. So we just thank you for who you are in her life and just give her your presence and power to move forward in this. And we thank you in Jesus name. Amen. I just want to say something real quick to that lady. <clears throat> I would encourage you to read Psalm 139. And as you read it, just declare it over yourself what he says in Psalm 139 about you and over you. He speaks, God speaks into your identity in that chapter. But that's all I wanted to say. Uh, Marie Pearl, the next one that we were on was the man that needed a prayer for a neighbor's kid that has a spirit of rebellion. We're, that's where we're at right now. Would you kindly pray for this young man, please? Yeah, I can, because I've had to deal with it with my kids. <laughs> I'll be happy to. <laughs> um, dear Heavenly Father, I just lift up this young man to you. And it's funny, he's got a name of one of my family members. That's ironic. But um, Lord, I just lift this young man up to you, Lord, with this spirit of rebellion. And I just pray, Lord, that uh, no matter where he goes, he will not go anywhere, Lord, that he does not hear your voice. I pray, Lord, that um, it says on here he was in a motorcycle accident. He's lucky to be alive. He has several broken bones all over his body. And he needs physical healing. Lord, I just pray for healing in his body where he has these broken bones all over his body, Lord. And I pray for healing of any of his organs or anything else going on in there, Lord, that we don't know about. But you know, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that that you send your angels to minister to him day and night, Lord. And you send laborers, you send people out, Lord. Um to talk to him, Lord, and to share your truth with him. Um, and I just pray, Lord, that you draw him to you. And I don't know if this boy is saved or not, Lord, but I pray for his salvation. And I pray for his heart and his mind. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. Um, the next prayer request is for a group of men I believe um, seeking physical and mental healing. Um, they are all over 70 years old and developing chronic illnesses. Yeah, it's five brothers, I believe is what it said. Um, okay. So I'll, I'll ask Les, would oh, you like to pray for them? Okay. If, 
I mean, I don't want to if you don't want me to, but I, I, when I was... Oh, reading, no, no. If, if you feel led to pray for them. It was highlighted to me. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, I lift up all five of these men to you, Lord. That are, they all have chronic illnesses, Lord. I just pray right now, Lord, um, for anything generational in their family, Lord, that's related to these chronic illnesses, Lord. I just break that off right now in Jesus' name. And I just pray healing over each one of these men in their bodies, whatever's going on with them, Lord. I don't know, but you know, Lord. <clears throat> and I pray for healing from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. And I just speak uh, healing over them, Lord, and wholeness over them, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for healing these men. And I also pray, Lord, not only for their physical healing, but for their mental health, Lord. Um, I just pray sound mind over them, Lord. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. I'd just like to add a scripture from Isaiah. Isaiah 46 verse 4 says, Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I'll carry you. I'll sustain you and I'll res rescue you. So I'd like these gentlemen to stand on the scripture and believe that God's got them. Yes. Marie, well, yeah. did you want me yes. to see the ones in the, the Facebook? Yeah. Okay. The first one is for uh William. Um, he needs healing from neur neuropathy, left foot. That's the mm -hmm. first one. Okay. Can you pray for this gentleman, Leslie Ray, please? Um what is neuropathy? Neuropathy is when you um can't really feel your your foot or it's giving you pain do you know i anyone? think so hold on a minute i'll look i have to look it i up. think that's what it is it's right. uh, it, it has to do with the nervous system yeah. you know, it often occurs in the hands and the feet and it's weakness numbness and pain from nerve damage um, and it's common cause of it is diabetes, but it can also be result from injuries, infections, okay. and exposure of toxins. So it's ne it to answer your question, weakness, numbness, and pain from nerve damage. Okay. Neuropathy. Mm -hmm. All right. I've heard of it before, but I just needed a little refresher. So That's thank okay. you. You're welcome. Father God, Abba, we just come to you and um, Lord, we have pain in our bodies, Father. This man has pain in his feet, his foot, Lord God. And you know the source of it. We do not, but you do, God. And uh, we ask for complete healing, Lord, both in mm -hmm. his body and in his spirit, Father. And uh, we pray, Father, that um, for complete healing for him, that um, he would be able to go jumping and leaping and praising the Lord. After you have healed his foot, Lord, we ask for complete healing of his foot and um, in his spirit, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for the faith that this man has, that he can come before you and lay this request before you, knowing that you are the God that heals. So we just, we just jump and leap before you as well with him, with our brother, for the healing that you're bringing to his body, Lord, and to his feet. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Leslie. Okay, the next one is Corrine. I hope I'm saying that right. Complete healing for my husband and seizures. For God to completely heal his emotions and subconscious too. Would <coughs> you like to pray for this lady, please, Susan? <clears throat> yeah, hold on a second. Sorry. <clears throat> it started acting up right around this time. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, I lift up Corrine to you and her husband. And I pray for complete healing <clears throat> of her husband. 
Um, I ask, Lord, that you heal heal him from seizures at the root cause. <laughs> and I ask, Lord, that you heal his soul, Lord, you know, his emotions, his subconscious, Lord. I pray for healing of his heart, Lord. <laughs> and um, I just pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. Um, the next one is Jamie Swindoll. Unspoken prayer for salvation for a few friends of mine. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the salvation that you've already given to her friends. We thank you that this is the season to draw them closer and closer to yourself. Thank you that you've opened their eyes to know you, Jesus. Open their ears to hear you audibly and to know you as their friend, their shepherd, their guide, their all in all. We thank you for all the benefits of their salvation. We thank you that you will send ministering laborers their way. Bring them to your saving, the saving knowledge of Christ Jesus himself. We thank you that they are saved and we rejoice with them. We rejoice in their salvation. And we thank you for their friend who so kindly requested this prayer for them. May you bless her exceedingly and let us see her answered prayer right before her. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, the last prayer request we have is Robin Butler. She says, please pray for the healing of our twins, hope and faith. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to ask Leslie B to pray for Robin. It's twins, hope and faith. <laughs> Thank you, Marie Pearl. Heavenly Father, I just lift up hope and faith. I thank you, Lord, that you knew them while they, they were in their mother's womb and before the foundation of the world, you created them and you, you thought of them. And I'm asking you to bring complete healing to these, these children. I thank you. I plead the blood of Jesus over them. I'm asking you to anoint them and let their live, live out their days in you, through you, and for your glory. And I thank you for their healing in, in Jesus' name. And let it be manifest. Amen. 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 <clears throat> there was one comment under that post, and I'll read it. Leah Leonard she said, Lord, would you please grant all the prayers of the people seeking help in your will? Bring them comfort and peace. Bring them answers and guidance and help break through any uncertainty or doubt within their faith. Thank you for that, Leah. Um, Amen. Amen. And I just wanted to say, did you have anything else you wanted to say, Marie Pearl? Um, and to Robin, I just wanted to say what beautiful names she's named her children. Yes. And we thank the Lord for the faith that he's given her and the hope that she has for their complete healing. Well, if you think about it, she had twins. She named them Hope and Faith. And Hope and Faith kind of goes together. If you think about it, right? And just, that was funny when I looked at love. God is love. So faith, hope, and love, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Yeah. He's the covering <laughs> over them. He's the banner over them is love. Over Amen. Them. Well, in closing, <laughs> if nobody has anything else to say, they won't add, because I don't want to cut y'all off if y'all are still talking. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, 
Um, check the post Dr. Darling just put up about SWIFT. Um, we're taking applications for SWIFT. Look for that post, and in the comments, there's a link that you can apply to SWIFT. So I encourage you to do that if you feel like the Holy Spirit's leading you to do that, putting it on your heart to be a part of SWIFT. Um, step out, you know, in faith and, and join. Um, I, I can speak for myself. I was one of these that I prayed in my prayer closet. I know where any, at any time saw myself on camera praying for anybody. I'd rather be back here in the back, you know, behind the scenes, but God had other plans. So <laughs> here we are. Mm -hmm. But, um, I just want to say, um, uh, I hope everybody has uh, a great day and a blessed weekend. And I'll pray us out as we end our prayer call. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time for us to gather in your name to pray over all these prayer requests and healing in the kingdom. And I thank you, Lord, that it's already done. You know, we prayed for these people's healings, Lord. You've heard our prayers and it's already done. Thank you for that, Lord. I pray that each person see the fruit of those prayers in their life. Kind of like what Marie Pearl was just praying for that person. Because um, hope deferred <coughs> makes the heart sick. But when it comes, it's like a tree of life. And that's how it feels when we get a prayer answered. It's like a tree of life, right? Mm -hmm. But Lord, I just pray blessings over each person um, that watches this prayer call. Um, blessings and favor over them as they go about their day and about their the rest of their week and their weekend. And I pray peace over them, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that they feel your love. Mm -hmm. um, and I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Bye, y'all. Yes. Yes, and amen.